Welcome back to Bursting with Blessings, where God is king and we are his mighty army, co-creating a legacy of blessings and a kingdom impact. I'm your host, Leah Mason Virgin, your certified life coach, business coach, and social selling expert at BurstingWithBlessings.com. And today we are going to be talking about being mission-minded and mission statement driven. Um, one of the things that I think that I have, um, I'm definitely inspired by my mission verse. And I believe very strongly, ladies, that we should have a mission verse. Uh, my verse is from uh, Psalm 68. Uh, Adonai gives the command, the women with the good news are a mighty army. We are a mighty army. We are kingdom soldiers. We are here to make a kingdom impact for God. And I am very, very driven by that. Um, however, as I was listening to this new book by Donald Miller, I wrote a post the other day. So if you, uh, if you are in my, my group, Blessed Christian Business Success and Life Coaching by Leah on Facebook, you can scroll back and you can see that, or you can go on my website under, uh, posts and devotionals and you can see that blog post because I really wanted us to start asking ourselves, um, some critical questions and creating uh, mission statements for every area of our life. Because when we are mission minded, <coughs> we can triumph over growing weary in the doing good, right? We can persevere. We can triumph over discouragement. We can crush victim mentality and have a victor mentality. When we're tired, um, we can remind ourselves of our mission and we can shine the light of Christ, right? And so I want to really encourage us. What do you value? Taking some time this weekend, really crafting out a mission statement. And one of the things I really liked about Donald Miller I'm reading his newest book. If you don't know Donald Miller, he uh, has written Story Brand. He's written Business Made Simple. His newest book is called How to Build Your Small Business, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Sorry, ladies. Um, but I'm, I'm watching some of his videos that come along with that when you sign up. Um, for his opt-in. And I really like how he really elevates a mission statement as being uh, simple to repeat to others, time, timely, having a time in it, Okay, here's the thing about mission statements. A lot of them are very, um, they're very complex. They're over the top. Um, they're things like, you know, we as an organization believe yada, 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 and we're going to do yada, yada, yada. And I really like how he said we need to dial it down into a, um, a timeline, a why. And what you're going to accomplish. So he gave the example, we will accomplish XYZ by XYZ time because of, right? I really like that. He gave, he gave, th uh, he gave two different um, examples in his video. Uh, one of them was about a pizza shop. We will be known for the best pizza in the next five years because our community deserves to um, share and have a pizza place that sources local ingredients, something along that line. Um, but I like how specific it was. I like how there was a timetable associated with it. 
And so I've been kind of playing around with some of the things um, for myself because I am a multifaceted entrepreneur. So I help business women build their business in the online space and be confident in having sales conversations. Um, you know, I help them copyright their stuff. I'm a ghostwriter. I also um, am a life coach. And so I'll work with women on, you know, being able to have confidence and dignity and speak with courage and have healthy boundaries and have healthy relationships. I also work with um, women in the uh, in, in their careers to become leaders and to be able to boldly speak up for their ideas. Um, and, you know, that's one of the reasons why I was really thinking along the lines of, I want to encourage my audience, those that follow me, I want them not to just have a mission statement for their career or their business, but I want them to have a mission statement for themselves, a mission statement for their families, a mission statement for their marriage, uh, because we do know as God's word says, if you keep the vision ever before your eyes, you are more likely to accomplish it. Um, a lot of very big um, gurus out there, business uh, leaders, they talk about writing out their goals, their daily goals, their quarterly goals, their yearly goals, because when you write it out, um, you're more focused, right? One of the things that I find for myself as a business owner, as a small business owner, is that there is no one who is my taskmaster. Nobody's telling me, um, did you accomplish your KPIs, your key performance indicators, those key things that you're supposed to do. No one's going to stand over my shoulder and make sure I'm not scrolling social media um, instead of having sales conversations. Um, no one is going to to um, make sure that you're giving time and attention to your marriage to make it grow, right? It's the same thing. No one's going to make sure that you're, you know, learning how to be the best mother that you possibly can because you are mission minded to be a mother, right? Or career goals. No one's going to, uh, no one's going to encourage you to be your best in your organization. Uh, they're just not. Yeah, sure, you have, you know, quarter, quarterly uh, reviews and bonus, it, bonus structures. But ultimately, if you are not mission-minded for yourself and for God, right? What does God say? God says, do all things unto the Lord. And if I'm sitting here thinking about the fact that I'm supposed to be doing all things unto the Lord, does that mean scrolling through um, Poshmark instead of writing a coaching devotional for the day or instead of, you know, preparing um, the, the menu for the week? Um, I'm not really one of those to do that, but what I do do is make sure that I go to the grocery store and the, and, and have enough different vegetables and meats for the week so that I'm prepared for dinners because that's, that's a love language for me is to serve meals. That matters to me. That it is my mission to show my children that I care for them, that I make their meals, um, and for them to grow up knowing Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, right? So I will help my children come to know the Lord and to be servant-minded by the time they graduate high school because... Serving God is the highest, most wonderful, blessed thing that can anyone can ever do, right? So there's a mission statement for my mothering. Um, for, for being a wife, I'm, I'm rolling around the idea. What can we say as a wife? Um, I will make my, I will make known to my husband how much I value him by daily listening to him, engaging with him, finding 
common ground and consistent activities for us to do together because I want us to have a healthy, wonderful marriage now and when our children graduate and move out. Um, and I talked about this this weekend. One of the things that um, Brad and I do consistently together is go for a trail run on Sundays. We're very blessed. We live near a park um, and and can literally run to the trails within three minutes. Um, and that's something that we do together. And does he sacrifice um, to run with me because I'm slower paced than him? Yeah. Yeah, together we make that sacrifice. I mean, Sunday he was like, "Yeah, are you gonna are you gonna get off the computer? Are we gonna go? Are we doing this?" And you know, to be mission minded, that I want our 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 marriage to stay stay healthy, stay thriving. Um, it's a no brainer for me to say yes, even when I don't want to. I mean, I joked around with him. I was like, oh, no, if I really want to get dressed and go out. But it's always, always a blessing when we run together. Um, and I'm not saying that you have to run together. You could play chess together. I am not learning chess, ladies. I'm sorry. My husband does like chess. He is trying to learn it. Um, that's probably not something that I'm going to do with him. I don't know. I guess I could. It's definitely something to consider, right? But I really, one of the things that I talk about with my clients is that, we, that there has to be a common bond, a common activity to do together um, to really bless ourselves. So mission-minded, right, mission statement driven, I do believe, and I've told my children this, um, it is my mission and my God-given um, mandate that I can kneel before Jesus and say, I, I raised my children in the best way that I knew at the time, right? So I especially tell them when I'm rebuking them uh, for, for certain things that they know they're not supposed to do. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to stay on you about this. I'm never going to stop disciplining you in the right, in the path in which you should go, because I serve God. I do things all unto him, right? So I'm going to constantly, consistently be, and by discipline, I mean talking to them, keeping them on track, you know, discipline means helping someone, teaching them. I'm not talking about like, you know, grounding them and whatnot, which I do do. Oh, I have grounded my children, but mine are teenagers now, right? So at this point, really what I am doing is daily checking in with them and helping to keep them guided. They still have guide, you know, guardrails in this home so that they, um, so that they are on the path, right? So what can you, what can you craft mission statement wise? Here's what I have for my business. I will help 21 women build their business in the online space in the next three months because amazing women create amazing positive changes in the world when they are walking in their God-inspired gifts and talents. That, I, I'm really feeling like that might be um, the mission statement that I want to write and keep on my computer right here. I would love to know what your mission statement is for your spiritual growth, for your marriage, for your mothering, for your business or career. I would love to know what what is God um, prompting you to do? You know, for our spiritual life, what could our mission statement be? It, it could be something along the lines of, um, you know, I will um, accomplish reading the Bible through... Each, uh, I, I will accomplish reading the Bible for five minutes every morning so that I can come into a greater relationship with Jesus Christ because he is my Lord and Savior. Hmm. Man, that's a good one, ladies. 
what is your mission statement going to be? Because we gain so much when we pick up our cross daily, follow after Jesus, renew our minds in his word. We become emotionally strong, mentally strong, so that we become resilient and build an abundance of blessings with Jesus Christ, right? I am strong and courageous. I am fearless for the Lord, my God, is the one who goes with me. Deuteronomy 30.10, turn to God with your whole heart and soul. Then you will prosper abundantly in all the work of your hands. The word must be near you in your mouth and in your heart. Oof. Amen. All right, let's go to Jesus and pray. Dear Jesus, we humbly come before you with praise and thanksgiving. Thank you so much for this day, this Monday, where we get to rise and renew our minds, pick up our cross, and start co-creating abundance of blessings with you. Lord Jesus, help us to stay mission-minded and a mission statement driven. Help give us a mission statement that inspires us to persevere and not grow weary in the doing, that helps us to do all things to you, unto you. You, Lord God, for you are abiding in our midst. You are with us. You never leave us nor forsake us. Please surround us with hedges of protection. Keep us as the apple of your eye, Lord Jesus, and bless us. And may we become the mighty army to bless others. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. All right, my friends, no matter where you are in your life journey, now is the time to get coaching. Whether you need life coaching, business coaching, sales coaching, uh, I am here for you. Reach out to me at burstingwithblessings.com uh, on Instagram or Facebook, LinkedIn. You can find me at Leah Mason Virgin, and I will see you guys in the next episode.